Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and today we have with us Cody Craig, one of our team riders for The Real Surf Team. And uh, we're checking out Cody's quiver. And the next board we're going to be taking a look at is Cody's Lost Surfboard Rad Ripper. Cody, uh, get, let's take it away and let us know what you like about this board and how it feels to you. Uh, once again, I've got some leaders on here, 31 and a half liters. So what I like here is that it paddles like a champion. Got, it, it reminds me of a Channel Islands uh, triplane hulls, an old kind of 80s current shape. Uh, it's got that same kind of tail, thickness, and flat rocker through the nose. Got the board turns well. Um, you can air on it. You can get tubed on it. It's a great all-around shortboard. Uh, I've been riding it uh, 510, uh, 2.4 thickness, and 20 inches wide. So wider than your average shortboard for sure, and you know, very low entry rocker. So Cody, one of the things I noticed about this board when I was surfing it is the uh, is the width of the tail, like especially like from here back and like how wide the tail block is and like how much push that gave. You know, like when you like really need to go somewhere, like you push on that thing and it just like comes back. Yeah, it's you, like how does that thing feel to you? Oh, it's really got a lot of squirt. You know what I mean? So if you couple you know speed pumps and you're back in the game. You know, so if the wave's a little mushy or has a flat section, you can speed right around that, especially riding it as a quad. I mean, the thing is just fast. And I, I think a lot of people look at, at this board and they think it's, it's small wave only. I think that's like a misconception about this board. Absolutely. But you know, there was a, some crazy footage of Skelet at Skeleton Bay on a 5.4 uh, Rad Ripper set up as a quad. Like, did you get a chance to ride this board in, uh, in better surf? I, I took it out on some bigger overhead surf and uh -huh. it, it actually performed extremely well, you know, not thinking it was going to work in that big a surf or that hollow, you know, tubey kind of surf and it performed very well. It made tubes that I didn't think I was going to make. Um, like once again, that low entry flatter rocker, I think you're able to lean forward and the, you know, the rail doesn't sink too hard and you're able to, you know, get through sections that you might not on a, you know, a thinner shortboard. Right, right. Cody, you had a bunch of, a bunch of the Lost Boards this year. Uh, like where did this thing fit into your quiver the best? Like kind of what was the sweet spot, like wave range wise for this board, for the Red Ripper? Uh, mostly in the smaller surf in the, you know, the uh, waist to chest high range. Okay. And uh, it performed great. But like I said, you know, before, like it, you can ride it in bigger surf as well. And it, you know, it still works really well. So it's a great all round shortboard. Something if you want to take it on a trip, if you right. want to go to Indo or something like that, uh, or Mexico or something like that. Um, it's one of those boards that you could ride it in all types, you know, especially in the smaller surf. In the smaller, like, you know, if, it, if you're going to bring it as your bottom board, but there were some sets coming through. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Or if you broke your big, you know, your next one up, and you, you needed this thing to cover some range. If you broke your step up, you could still ride this as, you know, like a almost a semi gun too. Okay. Because it has that volume, you know, displacement. Right. Right. Awesome. Well, this is the uh, the Lost Rad Ripper. If you have any questions on this board, or you'd like to place an order, you can give us a call at the shop two five two nine eight seven six thousand, or you can look us up online realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in, and Cody, thanks for joining us. Thank you.